Smello, Cobra, and welcome back to Schmickman Smeenmo Flops or something. I'm Chocolate Tamer, looking for Louie here in Olimar's comeback. Find Louie. Let's get down to brass tacks. All that matters here is getting through as many walls as you can, as fast as you can. Don't waste time fighting wild creatures unless they're gnawing on you, in which case you have my permission. Only if they're gnawing on me, oh man. Alright, President, I'll follow you saying that. Mission Log Day 7. I may have been too hard on Louis last night about his excessive appetite. Letting my emotions run away with me was wrong both as a pilot and as his mentor. Not that he's blameless here, of course, but it's my duty now to go find him, wherever he's run off to. Once that he's taken care of, I have some soul-searching to do about my temper. Hmm. Olimar being a little temperous and tempestuous. Looking for Louis. He is a little bit frustrated once to see his family for once, you know. Take care of your teammates. Good. Now hurry up and regroup. Alright, I'm gonna regroup oh so immediately. I'm gonna get these yellows as Olimar. I'll have to find Louis and again and everything. I'm gonna grab this fiber here. Then we're gonna get going in this little direction. Just to get a little bit of movement going on. Then get Olimar like that and Louis plucking and everything. Because we got a white puzzle here at what would be the Twilight River. Of course, post Pikmin uh, 3 Deluxe in terms of tempestuity. I don't know. So I'm gonna get 3 carrying there because we've got 12 like this. And here's the yellow part of the white puzzle. Get three just right there. We want to get that going. Get that seesaw block going on. Can we put it on top? Alright, it already is the way it is. And all of us can be like, I can't believe I raised my voice like that. Yeah, I practiced this a couple times today to get a nice little route going on. I'm going to get those couple guys in my possession. Get some bomb rocks are popping out. Very tempestuously and timely. I don't know why I'm talking about so much tempestuousness or something. But yeah, going to wait for our dudes to hop on out. Just going to get them all back into our possession. Informazione. Hello, Olimar. I am Louie. <laughs> something. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have Louie automate because Olimar is probably getting all these bombs popped out. There's going to be four from here. The dirt pile. Come on. There we go. <laughs> There's a moment for the rest of them to pop out. While Louie's going to be plucking right at base. So I'm here. Hope he is plucking. Got to be timely, you know. Because this is a bit more of a time-related thing. I mean... Not that it doesn't really matter that much, or not that it does matter, I don't know. So yeah, Louis has done his plucking here, where am I? That's where I was before. I usually get confused going through the first path instead of this way, but you know. I like the solitude going on, and I like your attitude. Ooh man, such a long tongue these whip tongue bulb orbs have. Let's see if we can uh, aggro both of them to me, come on. This is gonna be good, uh oh. Might have a death going on, and... Okay, yeah. Kinda do want to have both explosions happen, or... One explosion, take out both whips on bulbors because they drop extra bomb rocks for you. Because I would like to have four here. This bomb rock is perfect for fraking this Jonathan Freight's wall. Uh, oh, they didn't get kicked up or anything there. Alright, now it's time for all of our guys to get moving around a little bit more. Get that dwarf orange boy out of the way. Uh, carefully, yeah. You can watch the arc of tossage of the sausage for the whip tongue boy. And. Yeah, still another bomb I would have liked to have grabbed out of the deal, but we'll just deal with it the best we can. He's not a bad guy, but why is he always so hungry? Go past those couple dudes, there's more uh, plucking that can happen. This is the last little bit of stretch for Olimar, because the ultimate goal is to match over there and uh, avoid a burly snagger it, because it does indeed exist. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, there's a couple uh, dwarf orange and then there's a uh, hermit cromad. Beyond that electric wall is some stuffy bomb to work with. Yeah, stuffy bomb, that's what we like to say. But I have a little bit of a strategy if it comes to play in the right time. But the way I have things right now might work out well for me. I just gotta think how I wanna do it. Just gonna do a three right there. Get them off away from me, avoid the scutter chucks and everything. Yeah, we got some bull bears, and of course it's right on the bummer. I thought I was gonna eat it, it was like tossed it around a little bit. Over the tossing seas, get away! Oh, oh man. <laughs> a little bit of eating happened there. Five dudes. I will go from 30. Come on, come on, come on, Okay, at least it got it out of the way. And it's not really take a bomb, leave a bomb situation, because it's just the bomb's just sitting about there. Alright, yeah, those bull bears. Uh, let's see if I can time things a little bit better just to get this going a little bit better. And I think uh, Pikmin are being eaten over there, just getting things jostled around, so. I will give this a bit of a better try. Try to, for one thing, get both of those whip tongue bull orbs for Louis with one bomb. You can shoot, shoot. Oh boy, it's time for two for the price of one Uncle Auntie or something. So now, one less bomb use, or even fewer, I don't know. I always like to 
grammar of five, but now I have four bombs to work with, and I'm gonna get those extra ones, and I shouldn't even need to worry about the ball bears. And it's gonna eat a bomb right there, and I'm gonna use one fewer bomb. Oh wait, no, it's uh, because it grabbed the bomb and it didn't make the explosion because it was like focused on the target there. And of course, anything within an enemy's stomach doesn't quite match out the way it should be. So there's more guys to pluck, and I think it will pluck them. In fact, it's probably a. Uh, Careful of that, so that there's no eatery that has happened. Uh, get on out of there. I'm gonna get all plucking. Hopefully it's not gonna be a problem of plucking. So right here we're gonna go one, two, three. And watch out for the scutter chucks. And this is kind of the source location of our sequence break thing. Did you hear that? Did I hear what? Did Louis fart or something? You think it would happen if I'm using like spicy sprays or something? Instead of burping with a bitter spray. So yeah, you can drop a little thing, but I'm only gonna do two explosions right here. Of course, I can get one from this guy if I wanted to really do it, but just to show sequence breaking, kind of go to a high point and just kind of do some directional influencing. You can blow yourself right over without even needing to worry about the snagger. I don't even know if it does drop a bomb rock. I mean, it's probably the most uh, fearsome, so to speak, enemy on this little groupage thing, so you would think it would, but of course, the time it takes, you wouldn't really worry. I think yeah, it might be better time than uh, other things I've done as well. Actually, I think I've done like under three minutes in a uh, little practice thing, but yeah. Please accept this button in the middle, yeah. It's probably because I took a lot of time to defeat a couple different uh, teams, you know, Dwarf Orange Bulldogs, but I didn't have to worry too much about anything else. I don't think any death happened as well either. I mean, yeah, it says right there, zero death. Zero death run, man. Let's go ahead and check our global data like this. I might need to do a little bit of a staggering because it looks like the PlayStation Direct queue opens in about 20 minutes, so let me be prepared for that. All right, here we go. When I finally found Louis, he claimed to be sorry for what he did, but I'll keep a close eye on him all the same. He went missing after the Koopais rescued him too and turned out to have made off with all our food. For all that, this plan is dangerous enough that it's good to have the partner around. Hopefully, I can find enough food to keep him in line. Keep yourself in line as well, Olimar. Alright, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a brief break, as unorthodox as it may be, to try to secure the bag on a PS5. <laughs> okay, bag was not secured. After some PS Direct and GameStop related attempts, it is now 10.43pm on that same day, the 18th of December. Now for day 8, Big Fruit Carnival, collect them fruits. Moving large fruits is a big job that takes a lot of Pikmin. We can't afford replacement winged Pikmin, so don't you dare lose any while sending them over the water. Alright, maybe instead of replacements, we're just going to increase our rates in general. Mission Log Day 8. We're getting all kinds of signs that there's giant fruit in the area, so it falls that Louie would be eating his way through the region. I may yet get through this without an earful from the President. Better still, I'm picking up faint signals from one of the Hokadate ship's parts here. Time to get suited up for another expedition. Very expeditiously, we shall be doing that. Gold medal makes you a general, don't you know? There's a PS4 in my foot that I can move out of the way. Just a PS type of day. The defeated creatures can be used to increase the Pikmin. <gasps> nah, no, really, man? I can't believe you would tell me such a thing. Okay, anyway, we got this uh, spectral lid. Getting so tired. No, I must stay strong. Strong for my family. Olimar's really losing it among all of his attempts around it. everything. Get all your wingy dudes built up like so. I don't want to toss Louie. I want to toss the winged Pikmin. Sometimes they can make enough of an impact to get to where uh, things can be carried well enough, if I'm making sense, as in like an instant kill sort of situation. So we're gonna do a thing like that, then a 1 2 right there for the hay bale. Then gonna be like right up against that in order to let that happen. Louis kind of just over there getting ready to pluck and everything, so I guess Olimar is gonna be like this, call his blues and do a little bit of sequence breaky thing. Even though how else would you want to do it besides sequence breaky in the game of Pikmin? Alright, uh, well, there's plucking going on, so can't get much complaining out of me. And he was finishing at the right time. Alright, let's go ahead and call the rest of those guys. Then we're gonna go as splash blockily as possible. I don't know. Alright, we're just gonna fill in as best as we can. We can like, try to get right up against it so it can immediately knock it down. Uh, yeah. Then four are gonna be with Louie. I say I guess three because of how things are going around now. I do wanna have both our dudes with me for the time being. Because we are going to do a one, two, three, four, five tossing into the water. Why would I do that? I don't know. Because I mess up TBH. Kinda just whistle them out easily enough. I don't wanna be with Olimar. 
want you to be with you, Louie. Of course, I want to speed up a little bit. It's like they're trying to get over to him, but it ain't working so properly. But they're going to make their way up somehow. It's like an invisible wall there. That's why it's all strange. Maybe they'll, like, squeeze through this way so I can get our blue dudes as well. Yeah, this isn't quite working out. How about a nice little restart so I can get that a bit more speedily? Maybe, uh... Work on the blues a bit before growing all those pinks like I did. Grab the treasure! Time to eat! So we are over here. And of course by pink I mean, you know, winged Pikmin because that's what they are called. So you got that little glob of stuff where a crushed black kind of was before in a previous comeback situation. No, come back to me. Do not do. I want to toss you over there even though I don't need to do any tossing. Alright, so working on the hay bale situation right there. Very simulated. Uh, anything I'm missing over there? I'm just trying to watch myself while I get all plucky daisy about it. Everybody's just working, but I'm pretty much gonna keep Louie here for in depth flitude or something. Alright, now we're gonna get everybody filled nice and well enough because it's already in time. I was about to finish the bridge over there, but we're gonna take this whole squadrons and roll out with everything while we're getting going nice and enough. In, I don't know. Oop, quit being all. Flumpty do with it. We passed. I can't believe the passing of passages has happened. Alright, they're still working on stuff a little bit, but we're just chilling around. Might as well just uh, get dudes preemptively tossed up there. Oh, I was about to say, like, uh, did I even get the tossing going on? I guess I did. Alright, kaboom. Let's go ahead and kaboom this big old booming guy down, just like that. There's a regular strawberry there and the golden one that has just appeared. We shall allow all that to happen. Get all pushing like this. <laughs> Minimum speed is kind of pushing out of the way. I mean, it's all gonna get in place anyway. Come on now. I'm trying to get everybody with me. All 30 of them. Even though there's gonna be more of them right here. About another 10 ish or so. Whatever you wanna balance out to be. Alright, everybody right there. Do I have quite an amount of 10 ish with me? I don't think I do. Man, why is this one so strange and problematic? Just the whole uh, inclined slope I'm at, I guess. Let's see if I can uh, reach the other guys from here. Maybe they'll reach me up. They should be able to. Rise up well enough and back on the street. Did their time, took the chances, and all that. Alright. Alright, Crawmad, come on out. Not very bug eyed, but you're more hermity. I was about to say, like, you didn't grab it, did you? I'm gonna help you punch it out. Yeah, of course, we dudes, not the best fighters. We're kind of midair while we're doing this, but. Yeah. Okay, let's do a three right there. Do your things just nice and well enough with the way you're talking about it all. Let's go and get a dude fighting over there while I get prepared for all this. Whoa, don't grab a dude. Go, 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 go. You can kind of attack their face anyway. At face value. Uh oh. You're gonna be deaf. You're gonna put them all into their location situation. Oh man, two are lost. Oh well. We've had better and worse times or something. When I get them all like that. Uh oh. Of course, they're messing all up right there. So we're gonna do a tree thing right there. And then we're gonna inhale that. That right there, I'm not even gonna worry about. Because. It's not really something to worry about that much. Alright, individual, you're coming with me. Be very individualistic with how you're going to handle everything. And then uh, this guy is just gonna be chilling with everything. And then I think Louis, you're going to go like regain some dudes, even though you don't really need to go too far with it. We're gonna loop back around again with this thing. Just making some rounds with it. Right, how many do I have? It's like a 30 situation? Or I guess even 29, based on how this looks. Alright, Olimar, I'm gonna automate you right into that cave. Stuff we kind of seen before, but it still feels so different than the normal feel of the Garden of Hope because the whole bridge building, even though it's not really too different anyway. <laughs> uh, they're kind of getting that moving along, so maybe help up with the expeditiousness about it. Alright, very nice. Uh, 15. Um, no, I do not want to put Lee over there because I'm not bothering with that hay bale, so I don't really have a way to get back. There is a little facey, scrunchy thing over there, but we'll get it when the time is. Nah. I'm going to go ahead and start tossing tin right there. There's a thing that the time is nigh for right now. Bill Nye at that. They're just going to get going on their own speed and their own pace. And here we go. No bug eyed Cromaz here. I'm uh, here and we're going to do all this. Can we splat them low enough in time? I guess I don't know. Just going to focus like this and just overwhelm more than anything. And here we go. Get the dude going. Can we do it? Yeah, of course we can because that's how it be. I'm gonna go ahead and toss you guys on the fruit. Hopefully it's not gonna overdo anything. Let's go ahead and pluck these guys. I uh, should be able to make it past in time. I think just one there that was needed. Maybe one more. So I could just put a nice little 13 there. Balance everybody out. Yeah, all the losers are doing what they're doing. Um, everybody's weighing about it. Everybody's gonna weigh their options. Alright, 
As long as it gets like a shaken up thing. Go, 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 go. Nah. Of course, sir. Hitting the eyeballs in the way that it be the eyeball test situation. Oh. Go, 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 go. Yeah, just keep on attacking. I wanted to spray the last this little long, but of course, uh, me getting the blues the way I did isn't really matching up well enough with me. Come on. There's not even that much health to deal with. Just got that little bit right there. Alright, very cool. Oh, very nice. Oh, what the heck? What is going on over there? Oh, it's because we're like uh, taking that weird path around. I was like, wait, why is it happening like that? And let's see. Always look on the bright side of life. Gonna call him away from there. It's gonna get enough of a fighting squad squadron while you guys can get your carrying going on. Very carrying-ific uh, thing. About a big game sale thing. Everybody's gonna convene together, and we're gonna spray for the Bug Eye Claw Mat fight! And we're gonna dismiss like this, very poorly. Uh, well, just as long as you guys are focusing on something, uh, you can do it. No, don't be, uh, pushing them into place. Focus on the eye. Let it flip over and then just toss some Pikmin! Very master clockily, yeah! Alright, so chastic about it. Let's go ahead and get 15 there. Then how many of y'all? Just gonna get all as I can. Get a... A little bit of that, that's pretty much all that there is that needs to be done. Just kidding, there's that little thing over there, so we're gonna very speedishly get moving this way and try to take as big of a group as we can, because that banana just got into place. A banana? Alright, uh, there are some leaves among here, but I'm gonna try to focus the flowery dudes with some flowery language. Eh, uh, we just got that. That would be cool if they could, like, carry immediately over, but uh, I don't think it's gonna work like that. We're just gonna toss a bunch just so they can, uh, get into place. Come on, it's like carrying all of them, but an even bigger target. <gasps> they are going over! I can't believe it! It would be such a beautiful thing like that. <laughs> Good thing, because I'm kind of stuck over here with the dudes, but... Let's get that last little bit. Well, this is gonna be a 3200, or 3250. Wow, it's worth more than I thought. Instead of 50, was 100! Very cool! Okay. So... Man, <laughs> it's not really too long of a video thus far in terms of uh, the things we're handling. Uh, I could probably do something to like have fewer Pikmin die. In fact, I might even do such a thing. I don't know. I might not really, really re-show much. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know. Top 5. That's our first thing here. 16-6. Not bad at all compared to uh, my overall times of playing, but of course I can still do things faster with the starting management and wing growth. Might not even need to grow as many as I did, but yeah. Hey, I'm kind of among a top echelon situation, I don't know. But I think we're still gonna look among the next stuff. We got a good harvest of giant fruits today! Alas, we still haven't found the ship part, sending that Cindy signal. I should go some pull and consult with Brittany. Just making up words here, aren't I? Yeah, we are just that Kopai botanist to see if she can shed any light on the part signal coming from the fruit. It's so cool because we've already met Brittany because of the end of the Kopai story mode stuff. Actually, I'd love to see all three of the Kopite scientists and discuss the wonders of this planet more. Maybe once I finish this assignment. Hmm, setting up a little bit more for Pikmin 4, having four captains. Or maybe like six for some reason, have like a human Drake or Olimar's father being named Oliver. I don't know. It's kind of uh, making up a weird little head cannon. There's a look at Day 9 for what's going to come soon with Day 9 and 10 as well. Oh yeah, let's look at badges. Just to show that I have bare knuckled, haven't really... Got a little look through this stuff before. Pikmin Master, yeah, ultra spicy difficulty, but I've done that on my uh, original file. It's like my first run fully finished in the game. The whole 60 Pikmin on the field and all that. Mission to mission mode, there's a whole thing about being co-op as well. Working overtime! Get your medals. Uh -huh. Yeah, just a matter of uh, finishing. Not bad. Greenhorn, uh, yeah, just getting started in mission mode in general. Same as well. It's like we're gonna get all that in one fell swoop, provided we don't have failure in our initial runs through everything. Impressive number of platinum medals. Get all that. Blast radius for the whole bull bear situation I've done before in the story mode. At least an easy way of doing it. Not that it would really be too hard to do in a side story like this either. Xenobiologist, legendary archaeologist, and the game hunter. Yeah. Battle enemies. I've really done that much myself. I've only done a little bit of mission and uh, a little bit of fight bosses because it's so fun to fight bosses, you know. I'm a boss fight hunter, master, blaster, gadget, gaster dude. Yeah, yeah, victory macaroon and all that. There's a little bit of co-op, mission partner, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, pause and be ready for all that. So I can kind of fill that in a bit uh, passively, even if I haven't really done that. I feel like I don't really deserve that. I was like, did 
minimum damage limit was like a couple punches from Louie or something that got me that bare knuckled achievement. But hey, that's how it got into place. Hey, I'm like, I'm on the 66% thing. Seven more until the next break. Oh, cool. I haven't really uh, seen this much before myself. There's a lot of stuff to look at, even though it's just an X button presage. All right, uh, yeah. Let's do what we are want to do and take a gander at story mode related Peklopedia stuff for Olimar and Louis specifically, of course. After all this, I can never get used to the starry screen. It's almost like the loading ish screen for Sonic Mega Collection as well. Zooming in with some JJ Abrams lens flare. I feel like we've talked about that in stuff before. To assignment, we've already done the assignment. Why are we clicking on it? I don't know, I just wanted to maybe de it, but it's not de from here. Always new stuff to look at. Uh, for some reason this attracts me. Alright, there's your Alf stuff. There's your Britney stuff, getting dizzy. Then here's half of your Charlie stuff, and there's the other half with the Charlie horse. <laughs> Peel back the shell and sprinkle the tender meat with a dash of salt before slurping it up raw. Yeah, it would be a uh, sodium cannon larva then. For a refreshing dessert, pour fruit juice over snowballs. Mmm, that actually would sound pretty good. Even though it would be like a weird thing with meat. I don't know. Arctic cannon lava. Granitos, that's like stone something frosty them yeah stone tossing individual because of the i guess armoredness with the pod family don't even see like a more adult version you know well, i mean yeah it says larva so just imagine a more adult like version of that i kind of just scooting around sometimes your controls can be iffy especially if you have joy con drift not quite the situation for me though because i've had a repair a year ago i'm surprised my right joy con isn't starting to drift that much more anyway and I kind of do wish I could toss uh, pick pick carrots with all this as well. All right, Louis, what'd you guys say very uh, morbidly about this thing? Fozbat, add to the broth while no one's looking for best results. Uh -huh. I'm not looking for best results, or I guess this one. While well, no one's looking for best results. Aerodentia family, I guess the flying teeth or something, or even the Vespid. Tectuperus teromis, even though I'm kind of combining Gratin with Leek. Anything PT is definitely uh Greek thing. Alright, yeah, yeah. Chromatophore. Mm, such a cool word with your excretions. My own lamp does not trigger this reaction. The UV lamp at that. We'll be getting that among our ship parts. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Let's read this again. Yeah, let's don't read about the plasm wraith. What you gotta say about Wally Wog poles? You don't see normal Wally Wogs, just the yellow variety. Even though I think it was in like the beta for seeing a silver normal Wally Wog, so to speak. The tuber family and Amphicarus Frodendum. Shouldn't it be Rana something as part of it? Whole frog name. The nomenclature. Usually it would be Latin in certain ways. The Wally Wogs, the Earth's Ring, and the Low Hanging Tree, and the Grubs, and the Unorthodox, blah, 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 Yeah. It'd be interesting, like how other enemies interact with each other. That'd be pretty cool. Like a weird challenge mode for nighttime. The enemies are super berserk and even interact with one another. It's like not necessarily going for your Pikmin. That's a weird way to talk. But also, the other enemies, they can help you, but also harm you. in you standing in their way to their food or something. Oh, we're cooking bull bears for green curry. Mm. I had chicken tikka masala, I think, yesterday or the other day. Yeah, it was a couple days ago because yesterday was pizza. Pulverize the juicy innards. Stew until it's very nicely. Oculus terribilis, a very terrible eye-dotted individual. Yeah, because it kind of, a uh, mesmerizes you, the whole spotty thing. Yeah, territorial range, you get the territorial rot bar going on. Alright, I think I kind of milked uh, the length of this episode quite enough. Also, a uh, thing about this. Caution, do not eat. Yeah, Pseudorachnia capillum. I feel like I might have read this before, but I don't know. Cloud footfalls. I don't know why we need to learn any more about any sort of body nose here, long leg situation again. Pseudorachnia calvitium. Being bald, I guess. Calv would mean some sort of bonus arachnorb family very orbish okay we're gonna orb away from all this stuff back to the title screen to where we say next time on pikmin 3 deluxe it's gonna be episode number 23 and we're gonna do the final two days of all of us come back and see if we can finish putting together the hokitate ship and properly hopefully for good stay back on planet hokitate until then do not toast yourself and remember Keep on skunking with your stunky and use pluck attack. Eat that berry equivalent to bug bite.